I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games, a series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you guys right here in this video. I can't promise you guys that they're going to be any good, but I can promise you guys that we're going to have some fun, so if it gets cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. First game of today's episode is called No Way Out. It's an escape the room game. Oh god. And there's a piece of paper right here that says the light switch is left from the door. All you need for now is in the drawers. And number four says 16. That's 16, right? I have a hard time with Roman numerals, but the light switch is where? Hold on. The light switch is left from the door. Okay, where's the door? Oh man, door. Left from the door. Right here. Nice. So yeah, this is an escape the room type of game. And when I was younger, I used to love playing games like this. Like they were my favorite genre of games. It won't move. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, time for Jay to put on his thinking cap because I really want to try to beat this thing. So let's see. All you need for now is in the drawers and 16. Can I open this? No? The king chess piece. Can I open this? It's locked. I keep asking if I can open stuff. Wait the drawers these are the drawers right a picture of a skull a picture of a moon in a cloudy night sky three seven six one eight and then number six says 21 is that 21 dynamite wait a minute three seven six one eight hold on three four five six seven hold on open this three seven six one eight okay one three seven Six, one, and then eight. Did that do anything? Yo, this game is kind of creepy because it's so quiet. Maybe I have to do it in order. Three, seven, six, one, eight. Okay, so three, four, five, six, seven. Three, seven, six, one, eight. And now this drawer is open. Hallelujah, look at that. Key. Open this. Okay, cool. This is actually pretty interesting. Everything's locked. Oh, no, don't want to turn that off. Is this game supposed to be scary? Or is it just like a puzzle game? Because if it's a puzzle game, I'm cool. I'm very cool with that. If it's scary, I don't know about all that. My butt cheeks are not clenched right now, but they can be if this game is scary. Uh, wait, I don't know how to do this. Backspace, backspace. Let's check this out first. First digit, tools of creativity. Second digit, lying knowledge. Third digit, ways to escape. Fourth digit, glowing bells of the fool. Two is 12 and five is 10. Two is 12 and five is 10. Okay, hold on. Let's try to figure this one out first. The first digit, tools of creativity. That means pencils. There was pencils inside here. Those are always the tools of creativity. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there was another pencil right here. So eight, the first digit is eight. Let me actually write that down in my handy dandy pink memo thing. The first digit is eight. Second digit is lying knowledge. What is lying knowledge? What does that mean? Does that mean the news? Like the TV, the Telemundo? What's this? If there seems to be no solution, you may find that truth lies within the dark. Okay. Can I turn this on? No. Lying knowledge. What the hell is lying knowledge? I'm thinking it might be like a dictionary or something, but that doesn't make any sense because why would a dictionary lie to you? That is not lying knowledge. Maybe there's something in here that I didn't check. Uh, lying knowledge, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What do those numbers even mean? Because they weren't connected to the first puzzle, so they have to be connected somewhere here. Or maybe this is just here to throw me off. Okay, let's skip lying knowledge for now. Let's check the third digit, ways to escape. Okay, let me see here, ways to escape. We have a window, but we can't open the window. So that's not a way to escape. What about these doors? We can't open any of these doors. It's locked, it's locked and we can't open this window right here, right? But this game is called No Way Out. So maybe it's a trick question and the answer is zero. Let me keep it at zero for now and then let's move on to the fourth digit. Glowing Bells of the Fool. Oh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it was the Glowing Bells of the Jester, also known as the Fool, so five. This is something I do when I don't know the last digit in any game that I play. We're gonna do eight. And then the third digit is zero, and then five. So we're gonna mess around. We're gonna do one first. That's not it, okay. Two, nope, three, four. 
It was four. How was it four? I have no idea, but the answer is four. And there's something behind the bookcase. Okay, something behind the bookcase. The bookcase is right here? Okay, I can't see. Button, click it. Where is it? What did that do? What did that do? Why is the light off? Why is the light off? Oh no. Oh, the bathroom's open. Oh, dude, the hairs on the back of my neck are standing up. Please no, please no, please no. Whew. Okay. Yo, this is kind of scary. Can I turn this on? No? Picture, it depicts a star. Um, It can't be opened. There does not seem to be a handle. What's inside here? Picture, a picture of a hermit crab. Do I turn off the light? Please don't tell me. <gasps> I do. Oh, what the heck? Dude, this game is cool. Uh, huh? Key! I got a key! I don't know what for, but I got a key. How do I turn the light on? Okay, key, key, key. Is it here? Why is the light off? There's a light here, right? Okay, turn this on. Open this, I mean. Don't turn it on. Let's read this. One, the magician. Two, the high priestess. Three, the empress. Oh my god, what's that all about? I think I know what to do. Hold on. These pictures are here because they represent what's on this paper. And that's also part of the puzzle. The first paper we clicked on said four and then 16. So let me write that down. Four, 16. The second paper says six and then 21. The third paper says two, 12 and five, 10. And this paper says one, nine and three, four. Okay, so I'm assuming that we have to touch these things in order. So the first one is the hermit. The hermit is who? Who is the hermit? Oh, the hermit crab. There was a picture of a crab somewhere, right here. Okay, got that. A picture of a hermit crab. The second one is the hangman, which is in this room right here. Bam. The third one is the emperor. Who is the emperor? It's not you, not you. Definitely not you. The king, it's a chess piece. The king chess piece. And then number four is the tower. Right here, that's a tower. It depicts a tower on a green hill. Number five is Wheel of Fortune. This, because that is a Wheel of Fortune, kinda. A picture of a casino roulette. And number six is the world. So here we go. Bam, a map of the world. What did that do? Did I get it right? Did I not get it right? I don't know what happened. Oh, there's a secret button on the paintings. Okay, so I gotta click this. There you go. I thought I just had to touch the picture. So the other one is the hangman, right? Is it all in the same spot? It is. Okay, so what's next? The emperor. So there should be one on this chess piece right here. There is. So the next one is the tower, which is this one. And then Wheel of Fortune, the casino roulette, right there. And then the last one is the world. Got it. Oh my God. Oh, the end. I thought somebody was going to kill me. So this is us. We're this cute little guy right here. This four-eyed freak wants some food. He would like garlic, some wine, a loaf of bread, something that looks like whole cheese, and a slice of cheese. All right, how am I going to get that? How am I gonna make that happen? I would love to make that happen for you, but I do not know how to make it happen. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so how do I get it inside of my pots? Like that. Okay, this game is easy. We're gonna do just fine. Okay, let's see what's inside this store. There's a baguette. I would like one baguette, please. I have a baguette and wine in my hot pot. I've never had that in my life before, and I do not wish to ever try that. I was actually talking to Cassie about hot pot. It's weird that I found this game because, yeah, we we're talking about hot pot, and she was like, have you ever had hot pot, Jane? I'm like, yeah, I had hot pot. And she's like, what kind? And I said, sukiyaki. It's this Japanese hot pot. And then she's like, that's not actually hot pot, though. And I'm like, you know what, Cassie? Shut up. That's hot pot to me. Give me the garlic. There you go. I got some garlic. And is there cheese here? There's this thing. Okay, I think this is cheese. Get inside my hot pot. Get inside, there you go. Okay, where's the slice of cheese at? I would like the cheese, please. Cheese, there's gotta be cheese in here. There's carrots, there's beets, there's tomato J, there's potatoes, and this guy is throwing fresh shit at me. Thanks, my guy. Oh, the cheese, it's right there. Get the cheese. I got it, I got everything. I'm coming in. 
Ha ta 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 I'm coming, you four-eyed freak! I'm bringing the goods! Right here, sir! Yes! And look at him enjoying that hot pot! Enjoy your meal, sir! Okay, next guy, this hipster dude over here. He wants a cup of green stuff, green onion, eggs, meat, and garlic. I got you with the meat and the eggs. I saw it in here, inside of this restaurante. And the eggs are right here. Get inside. Wait, I have cheese. How do I get that cheese out? I don't want cheese inside of my thing. Okay, let's try this again, because I want to be a people pleaser. Let me get the eggs inside. Give me the egg. Give me the egg. Oh, it's so hard flipping the egg in. Give me the egg. Yes, okay. We got the egg and the meat. And then I need garlic, and I need, like, that bottle of green stuff. I don't even know what that is, but we have to hurry because I don't have much water left in my hot pot. So we got to get to moving, people. Okay, and here, the green onion is right there. Got it. And then the green stuff is... Oh, my God. This guy's throwing stuff, too? Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Oh, my God. Why? All right, here we go. Coming through, you sons of bitches. Give me that garlic. Give me the green onion. Oh, my God. I'm so good. I'm so good! That's what they tell me, they say, Jay! Oh, you're so goddamn good! And I'm coming in, baby! I'm coming in! Hot, 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 hot. I'm coming, sir, with your hot pot right over here! Let's go! Alright, so all we got left is the lady that's on the left, and she wants meat, tomato, something green, a jar of something, and some cheese. I saw that jar, it was in here. It was in the corner. It was like a hoe, it was a corner hoe. Right there. Get inside. Come on, just do it for daddy. Just do it for daddy. Get inside my pot. Yes. Oh, it's noodles. We got some oodles of noodles. And that green thing is right here. Yes. So we have noodles and we have that green stuff. It looks like pho. And then we got to go inside this garden and get tomato J for the late day. Right over here. Come on. Come on. Get inside. Please stop throwing shit at me. Please stop throwing your nasty shit at me. Thank you. Get in there. Come on. Get in there. Oh, that was so sweet. That thing rimmed in. So I have everything but what? What's the last thing I need? Oh, I need meat. I gotta go back in the restaurant with that crazy Asian lady. All right, we can do this, Jay. Just man up. Don't be scared. Don't be scared of the butcher knives. Oh my God, I'm scared of the butcher knives. I'm so terrified. Give me that meat. I'm still in the meat. You can do this, my guy. Ha ta 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 Last game of today's episode is called 330 at Floater Cemetery. It's another SpongeBob game, so let's get it. Hmm, Floater Cemetery. I heard there be treasure buried in some of these graves. You know, I'm in no hurry to return home. That hashling slasher fellow fell behind. There's no way he'll ever catch up. I think now's the perfect time to go grave robbing. Har 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 har. Oh my god, that was the most horrible Mr. Krabs impression of all time. I am so sorry you guys had to hear that. Press tab to view your objectives. Dig up Smitty Warbin Man Jinxon's grave. Dig up Wally the Walrus's grave. Dig up Captain Stupid's grave. Dig up Mr. Puff's grave. Plunder all three mausoleums and leave the cemetery. Damn, that's the shit little things that we gotta do. You gotta be kidding me. But you know what? After this, I'm gonna be rich, biatch. So let's go. What the heck is that? Oh, that's Gary? No, that ain't Gary. That's Larry. Larry and Gary are different from Jerry. Here lies Squidward's hopes and dreams. That is so dope. What about you? What? What's that? Who? Who? Oh my, oh, you? Oh my God, I'm not scared of you. Wally the Walrus. Oh my God. Okay, we gotta get away from this guy. How the hell do I get away from this guy? Okay, maybe I can hide right here. No, this is a horrible idea. I'm going this way, I'm going this way. I don't even know where to go. I don't know how to lose this guy. Like, he's all over my crabby nutsack. If he can get me over here, I'm done. I'm so done. He got me all the way over here, guys. Okay, I definitely have to avoid the pirate because I don't know how to escape him. Like, once he starts chasing you, he won't let go. Oh, maybe I can hide in the grass. Yeah. Okay, maybe when he comes to get me, I can hide in the grass. You better not use the ghost command to go outside these walls. I made them to keep you inside the playable area. So please, don't cheat, you bitch. Okay, just for calling me a bitch, how do I do commands? You feel the erythrial. Okay, so I actually did the ghost command. And now I'm outside the walls. Okay, sure, go ahead. Explore the out-of-bounds area of the map. It's so very interesting. There's so much to see. Really? What's out here? Why is this kind of spooky, too? Okay, so I went far out-of-bounds, and it says, This is what happens when you go out-of-bounds. Happy now? And there's two spherical things right here and one long shaft pointing upward. I guess you guys can assume what that is. But we're gonna go back because I can't show that on YouTube. 
So let's try to get all that money from those graves. This is... He was quite the dumb pirate. Crashed his new boat in less than a day. Here lies Captain Stupid. Okay. We're gonna take... What? Oh my god. Ah! Jeez. I heard the music and then he just bit my ass instantly. Wait, don't tell me I gotta go in here. I'm pretty sure I gotta go in... Oh, okay. The mausoleum. What? Oh no, I hear the music. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh shit. Oh, dude, 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 dude. That's stupid how they can still get you while you're plundering something. Let me plunder in peace. Dude, 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 dude. Come on, come on, come on. Bitch, let's go. You can't touch me. You can't touch me, bitch. Okay, I see another grave here. What's this one? Mr. Puff. I did not even know Mr. Puff died. I just thought Mrs. Puff was single all this time. Even though her name was Mrs. Puff. I call myself a Spongebob fan and I did not know that Mr. Puff was dead. Like, when did they even mention that Mr. Puff died? I don't even know. It has to have been like the recent episodes. Because I could have sworn I've seen every classic episode of Spongebob. Okay, I think this is the third mausoleum. I've spent most of my time just getting away from these guys. There you go. Oh my god, I heard something. No, 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 no. Don't get me. Don't get me. Okay, nobody's here. Smitty Warbin Man Jason! Oh my god, he was number one. Dig, 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 dig. Come on, please, 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 please. Got it, bitch. Okay, all graves have been robbed. Return to your boat and escape. Yes! Almost there, guys. Almost there. Oh, yeah, you can't touch this. You can't touch this! Is that the hash thing, Slasher? Why is he here? What does he have to do with all this stuff? Isn't he like a nice guy that just wants to be a fry cook? And isn't he like a fan of SpongeBob? Get out of here, hash thing, Slasher. All right, let's go. Come on. I'm here. Jeez. Later, bitches! Alright, guys, but that's gonna do it for this episode of Free Random Games. If you guys would like to see more episodes of this series, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead, too!